الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله from the weapons of the believer and something in which we should integrate in our daily lives and it's a reminder first and foremost to myself then my brothers and sisters in Islam and that is the dua and the dhikr remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem ya ayu al-ladina amanu اذكروا الله كثيرا اذكروا الله ذكرا كثيرا وسبحوه بكرة وأصيلا الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم he says O oh you who believe remember Allah ذكرا كثيرا uh, uh, remember Allah avidly وَسَبِّحُهُ بُكْرَةً وَأَصِيلًا And praise Him in the day and the night. This is an admonishment for the believer. This is an admonishment or a reminder to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is reminding us, the believers, to remember Him. And that this would be a success for us. أذكر الله ذكر كثيرا. Remember Allah often. And from remembering Allah subhanahu wa taala, we gain baraka. We gain reward from Allah subhanahu wa taala and blessing in all of our activities. And it also is a restoration of the heart. It is a enlivening, or it is. Resuscitating our hearts from being dead, because many of us have dead hearts. We have hearts that are like these rocks, in which water does not penetrate them. And by making remembrance of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, this is the penetration of those rocks. This is the the way in which to break down the hardness of the heart by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how can you curse the people how can you backbite the people how can you do sins openly when you're too busy remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so it even occupies your time also as the ulama the salaf used to say uh, a dua that the dua is a, a salah that it's a type of weapon what is it a weapon against? What is this dua a weapon for? What is it? It, it is a, a weapon against those people who harm the believers. It is a weapon to receive the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all of your activities, all of your daily activities. And it is a help and a weapon and a defense against evil and from evil happening to you. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna dua yanfa mimma nazala wa mimma lam yanzal fa alaykum ibadullah bi dua. And this is Ru'ahu Tirmidhi. In this hadith in Sahih Tirmidhi, or in this hadith in Tirmidhi, the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam said, Verily dua benefits uh, from those things which happened and those things which did not happen. So vi- so it is upon you, O sl- servants of Allah, to make dua, to make supplication. So supplication to Allah Azza wa Jal is what brings about success. And it is what brings about your needs and your happiness in this life as well as the hereafter. So strive your best, Ya Ibad Allah, to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remember Him often. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.